A lot of discussion, J.P. Morosi, this morning. Good morning about Will Ferrell. And we are in a heated discussion about who the funniest person in America is. What is your response to that? Please enlighten us. John Mulaney. John Mulaney. In terms of stand-up, his monologues on SNL are brilliant. You so buy I'm him going what John Mulaney. If Matty I was B. a writer, I'd be dangerous. <laughs> he would be dangerous. So are you, J.P. Morosi. Uh, two months ago, do you remember what you told me? You told me seven or eight teams need at least one starter, maybe two. Blake Snell could help a lot of them. Let's find these guys' new homes because maybe it's because I live in New York, but I keep hearing the Yankees planning an active January and that Blake Snell has interest. So put the two together. What do you get, J.P.? Yes, Lauren, I would say this. We have a two-time Cy Young Award winner who is still available in the early days of January. That doesn't happen very often, and you're exactly right. Uh, our Mark Feinstein has reported on the network this week that the Yankees do have interest in Blake Snell. And when you look at the Yankees' needs and the reason why they were pursuing Yoshinobu Yamamoto so diligently, there is a need in that rotation right now for someone who is exactly like Blake Snell. There you see what he's been able to do. I think a lot of any any critics would look at it and say, well, the, the walk rate is a little high. But listen, he's won the Cy Young twice. Not a lot of people in the, in the game can say they've done that. And he also, very importantly, Lauren, the first time he won it, he was in the American League East, so he's clearly been able to show that he can compete in that division with all those hitter-friendly ballparks. So I do think the Yankees, for the same reasons they wanted Yamamoto, they have interest in Snell. I'll also be curious to see the San Francisco Giants, of course, Bob Melvin had Snell last year with the San Diego Padres. We know the Giants were also involved in Yamamoto. So this feels to me like a larger market team is going to get Snell. And the one thing that we know is that sometimes with a Scott Boris client, he'll wait until closer to spring training. So I don't know that it's necessarily imminent, but the interest level and the need for pitching, Lauren, as we've said before, is very evident, especially with those two teams, Yankees and Giants. West Coast, East Coast, everyone in between. Yankees offseason moves are ahead of them. I mean, another incredible option, more pinstripes for, I don't know, a half decade. I think, I think that's right, with Jordan Montgomery. We would be liars if we predicted his second half when we were talking about this move at the deadline, but he, JP, pitched some of the most, maybe the most meaningful innings for them in the postseason. Where to next, or does he stay put? You know, Lorna, it's a great question. I, I do think that there's still a possibility that he stays with the Texas Rangers. The Rangers need a little bit more reliability in their rotation. We know they're not going to have Scherzer or DeGrom to begin the season. And when you begin that title defense, it certainly helps to have someone who was so essential in winning the ring in 2023, as Montgomery was. Of course, he's very close in age, of course, to, to Blake Snell. You look at what he was able to do in the postseason. Those postseason tested moments, I think, are a huge part of Montgomery's resume. And depending on where the dollars line up, I could see a team like even the Cubs or the Angels getting involved because both of those teams need some help. The Cubs, as we know, they've had a more contact-oriented staff in recent years, and Montgomery would miss more bats than a lot of the other starters that they have had in recent times. So, again, I, I do think Texas, while they don't seem to be the favorites right now, still would love to bring him back. I know a lot of people in the Ranger organization are huge fans of Jordan Montgomery, so I think that's one possibility to watch. And I would also mention, too, the Boston Red Sox. We saw they were able to get Lucas Giolito, but they also traded Chris Sale. So at some point, they may want to add one more left-handed arm to that rotation because right now, they're a very right-handed dominant staff. I remember he was on the set during the World Series, and H told him, you're going to get paid, and he just kind of smirked, kind of smiled to himself. I Googled Marcus Stroman's name today. To, to kind of check out the latest free agency news. And it said Sports Illustrated said he has three free agent options. He could certainly help a lot of teams. JP, who's at the top of that list? Well, I mentioned the Philadelphia Phillies this week, and I still think that's a really good possibility for Marcus Stroman. He's such a durable arm. And, and for a team like the Phillies, you look at their infield defense, Turner certainly has had excellent defensive years in the past. Stott is very good over at second base. I, I like that fit for Stroman with the Phillies. I would also mention the Giants. If the Giants can't find a way uh, to add either Montgomery or Snell, I think San Francisco becomes a very strong possibility for Marcus Stroman. There you see the second half. Obviously, it wasn't what Marcus had hoped in terms of the momentum to enter free agency, but 
On measure, he has been a very durable pitcher for a long period of time, feels his position exceptionally well, and those teams, the Giants and the Phillies, they've been involved in different starting pitching pursuits. Perhaps Stroman waits until after Montgomery, or Snell at least, signs, and then perhaps those suitors coalesce around the market for Stroman in the weeks ahead. Is there new artwork behind you, or did I make that up? Well, we uh, Some of it's new, Lauren. I do See? think that we are due for a new New Year's refresh of the artwork. Our chief artist in residence, Elena's been a little under the weather lately, but I do think that when she's feeling better towards the weekend, I, I think we'll have some more masterpieces Elena, behind. get to work. We need content, would you? J.P. Morosi, appreciate the <laughs> Thank time. You.